Hello YouTube, I have here a Sanyo portable TV from the early 80s. It's a black and white CRT with a 2 inch screen. I wanted to make this video before the analog cutoff in Australia in late 2013. I'll just turn it on now. If you're a buyer for 60 days, risk free for only $39.60. So call now on 1 800 9 Now it's close to 2 a.m. here, so there's not really a lot on besides info virtuals. It's a very nice picture for analog. I'll see if I can get some other channels on it. Channel 9. Because it was so disappointing. I didn't feel myself. Now it's on VHF now. To get other channels, I have to put it on either VL or UHF. Now there's a switch around here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Now that's better. Now you can see it. Yeah, it's just that there, and now I should be able to get ABC. There it is. And with UHF, of course, I can get SBS. Now it also has an AM FM radio which is controlled from this switch here, so as you can see the screen goes off and see if I can get something on FM that one there is the volume of course, I'll turn it up a bit and uh, some sort of tasteless music and uh, some other music, I'll uh, put it on AM just to demonstrate that, and uh, usual talk radio for AM, as you can hear. See if I can get one to stick. Well, you get the idea anyway. Now, it used to have a clock, but that needs a new battery, of course, so got the controls for the clock up here. So you've got the uh, power switch here with off, on, and timer. I could use that if the clock actually worked. I'll put it back on TV and try to get something again. That's got it. Back to VHF. Turn it down a bit. And here's something. Yeah. It's got a nice stand, so if you've got it on a desk or something, you can have the screen pointing at an upward angle. Also makes a nice handle. And over here, now with this switch you can see that it will work anywhere in the world, or at least it used to before the various countries started to turn off analog, but you can see it's got US, Europe and UK, so that's PAL and NTSC covered. I'm sure back when this was made this would have been a very upmarket device, probably cost a fortune. So as you can see, you've got your contrast, brightness, and V-hold. On the other side, as you can see, it has sockets for earphones and an external antenna. Now if I had the right sort of cable, I could connect it to a set-top box, and I'd still be able to use it after the analog cutoff. Okay guys, well, I found a suitable cable, and now I am playing on a Pong machine. This is handball, the single player mode, because my friends would all rather play Call of Duty. As you can see, I'm doing quite poorly playing through the phone's viewfinder, but I'll make do.
you can even connect modern consoles to it. Here I'm playing Saints Row the Third on Xbox 360. Now to get this to work, I had to connect it through an RF modulator and as you can see I'm doing my best to drive one-handed in this game. Now I believe this may have come with a case and possibly a magnifier originally. You can see where the magnifier would slot onto the screen there. Now I got this for $20 on eBay. It was advertised as non-working but as you can see it works. I believe in the seller's part of Australia they may have already switched off analog transmissions. And there you have it, portable television as it was in the 1980s. Thank you for watching.